Welcome back to 4K Tech. I'm gonna show you how to check the temperature internal on these uh, uh, Canon um, Nano 3s. These are the new mini solo miners for Bitcoin. I'm actually mining Bitcoin Cash because the odds are just so much greater and better uh, to hit one. I actually got this one mounted in my bathroom and I actually got the AC right above it. So it keeps it pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and look. If you could see inside here next to, let's see if I could shoot it with the laser here. It's hard to see it. Right in there. It's next to this one where there's a heat sink. And you can see here, the temperature is at 102. Now, I was watching um, a video on how to take this apart and then there's a kit on Amazon where you could put heat sinks, copper heat sinks on some of the components inside. And then if you see here, I'm gonna hit this one right here. Wow. Let's see, 89. Yeah, that's the one with the heat sink on it. And the one chip that's in the back here that does not have the heat sink on it, I'm gonna read it right now. I'm hitting it. 109. That's crazy. So let me go ahead and put those heat sinks in and then we'll uh, connect it back and see what we're at. Okay, now what we're gonna attempt to do is take out, the way to open this is there's five screws. One, two, three, four. This one right here, once you break that seal, you void your warranty. Just keep that in mind. Um, so let's go ahead and take those five screws out. Now you're gonna need a, a smaller type of Phillips head, a little thinner um, to get down there. And it just comes right out. That's one there. Put that off to the side. <clears throat> and then I'll take out the other ones, get the cover off. Okay, we got all five screws out. You're just gonna lift it up. Watch that you don't rip the ribbon cable here. So just kind of like, you wanna just turn it out of the way like this, where it's upside down, so you can work on it. <clears throat> now, what we're gonna do is gonna put a heat sink on this chip here. We're gonna put one on here, and on, on here too as well. And I have an assortment of all different types of chip, same heat sinks here. There's a, they're just 3M on the bottom. You just peel the tape, they come off, and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and put a chip on. I mean, a heat sink on. Now, when you put these on, make sure that the the lines are faced this way because your fans here are taking all the air and blowing it this way. So you want you want to make sure you put them this way. See how this one is? Okay, and then let's grab the big one here. The big one's gonna go right on top of that right there. That's that one. And then this one, I'm gonna use the longer one. This one actually fits perfect. It's like a little longer. And I'll go right there. Okay. Let me put it back together. And then we'll test uh, to see if it, uh, you know, the temperature dropped a little bit. Okay, I got it plugged back on. Um, now on this right here, I always keep the front off. Um, and then the back too, I, I take that off because it just, it stays a lot cooler. So that's what it looks like I did in the back with the fans exposed. And I just want these things to last, you know, it's, even though they're not that expensive, you know, just, it, it'd be nice if it, it could last like, you know, two, five years, seven years, whatever. It just keeps solo mining. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, test it and see what we got here that is it right there okay okay we came down a lot actually originally it was at 109 i believe let's see here let me hit it and you can see right there let's see if i can hit it in there it's right there no i couldn't get it there let me try again Right there, there it is. 
Yeah, I mean, I got it down. It dropped big time, about eight degrees. So it definitely works. Anyway, um, yeah, they're just copper heat sinks. I got I got the whole kit for thirteen bucks off of Amazon. So, and again, I keep it in a cool place. Right there, I got the AC just coming down on it, so that helps too. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.